Radio.net. Kind of a crazy story, you know, most athletes, they get done playing and they got to figure out immediately, like, what am I going to do now? And I always was told, you know, you're going to coach, you're going to coach, you're going to coach. So um, I'm from a Deloge, Missouri, small city, actually a small town, really, an hour south of St. Louis. And I uh, came home after we lost in the conference semifinals um, in college. And I was like, okay, now what am I going to do? And I kind of came home, I was like, you know, I'm going to train a couple kids, like, you know, try to help our area. You know, I came home and was there for like six, seven days and made like 50 bucks. I was like, you know, I kind of like this. So I went back to school, finished the year out, and then I came home. And I just started training kids in the area, kind of just some little bit. Then I got I got blessed to um, meet Courtney Belger, who was my first pro. Great guy, still playing to this day. Um, he'll be a fourth year pro um, the first summer, and then he allowed me to work with his friend Brandon Hogg who just finished his fourth year in England BBL. Um, so then I kind of just continued to uh, work with players. So after that summer, uh, I ended up being an assistant coach at Lion College where I played my career at NEI Division I. Uh, I was able to do a lot of the player development there, some of the strength and conditioning. Um, so I was there for one year. Then the following summer came, I ended up running you know, a couple more camps in different states, different areas. Um, add a couple more pros to my resume um, and then I this past year I was a grad assistant in Northwestern State which is a division one in the Southland Conference um, and I was allowed to do a lot of the player development there which was a great blessing great coaching staff down there they take care of me coach McConaughey and his coaching staff um, and then this summer came along and I've been able to work with even more players and I just recently got back from Israel I was there for two weeks so I've been very blessed to work with a lot of different players Surrounded with a lot of great people, more importantly. Go down the other way, other way. You got this round. Right. 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 The name's Julian Wright. I'm a professional basketball player. I'm going into my tenth year, I believe. Um, it's been a, it's been a journey. It's been a roller coaster ride. And part of this roller coaster ride has brought me uh, back to my, my hometown, uh, my high school, should I say, my old high school, home of Flossman High School. Uh, this was last year, which was my first year in 10 years coming back uh, to do some stuff with, uh, with the young kids here in the uh, feeder program going to HF. And that's when I met Stefan um, you know, through one of my former teammates, XL Hardy. Hardy. Uh, he was kind of helping out with the camp last year. And uh, you know, he said, "I got the, uh, Excel." Said, "I got this guy. He, you know, he's he's real solid. He real fo focused a lot of detail. I think he, you know, you'll like him." So I, I got about three or four days in last year. I like what I what I saw from him. I saw that he was he was hungry. Um, I, I saw that he saw that I also wanted to get better. Um, and so I, we kept we took each other's number down, and uh, we we actually stayed in touch during my my professional year overseas in Italy. We would do FaceTime calls and things of that nature just to keep me sharp on things and you know whether it be bouncing shy this or that so I appreciate his, his dedication also um, and that, that's what led me back here again to work with him okay All right zig 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 I'm trying to get by you trail me dump it off come back this dump. way this let me go to the right right okay and this one there we go okay go out touch the three point line dump touch the three point line dump then we get 10 catch and shoots okay. Okay. 20 seconds Zigzag, trail dunk. Zigzag, trail, trail dunk. Go to uh, three point line. Touch dunk. Touch dunk. Touch dunk. We're not going to go away to four or five on this one. We're going to go to relax. Okay, so one, two, jab, relax, touch float. Okay. Okay. Just like we did yesterday with the jump shots. Uh, Kevin Dillard, uh, go by KD Hannah Shy. Uh, third year professional, going to Turkey this year. 
Uh, came out of home with Flossmoor 08, Mr. Basketball. Uh, went to SIU Carbondale, then went to Dayton after that. Um, you know, and I met Steph through uh, XL Hardy, you know, because we do the camp here for the kids, and he came up. XL told me that he had a great trainer for us, somebody that could really help us develop our game. Um, and I worked with him for two days last year, and after those two days, um, I, I really needed uh, you know, his input and, and his knowledge of the game this year. So I was really excited to work with him for uh, this week at camp, you know, picking his brain while at the camp and then also having him train me. Uh, great guy, man, uh, very charismatic. Uh, and on the court, he really knows what he's doing. Study the game, watch hella film, you know, and, and anything that, that you could bring to your game, he's going to give it to you you know, in, in a very uh, strategic manner though. You know, he watched my game film and then he made his workout according to what he saw I could get better in. Um, and these five days, man, it, it's really helped me out a lot. I learned a lot from him so far and um, I'm definitely gonna link up with him in the future, you know, to keep developing and keep getting better on and off the ball. Like this, I'm already in the air. I don't want to pass the air. What if I go? Oh, I'm walking. Do I dump it? Do I throw the drift? You know what I'm saying? Take it up. Well, little pull up shoulders downhill. That's certified. Yo, I'm Scooty Guyton. I uh, played at Rich South High School out here in Richmond Park, Illinois. I uh, went to the Mineral Area. Finished up at Kent State University. Now I'm currently playing professional basketball in Germany. I met Steph uh, at Mineral Area in Farmington, Missouri. Working out with him as a mother. If I can say that. <laughs> He's great. Uh, he puts you, he challenges you every time you go. Um, man, the perfection. He, he, wants the, he wants everything done right. Perfection. He's a perfectionist. Like he doesn't make he doesn't let you give up on yourself. So he'll tell you, hey, if we need five makes, it's five makes. If we need ten switches, ten switches or two switches, whatever, you just stay there all day until you get it done. So I really like that. Like it it makes you better as a player as well, like to to not give up and not to half ass it. So it'll be left, right, out. Left, into it, don't bounce it, out. Here we go. Uh, I would definitely say it's been my jump shot. Um, last year, I, I didn't feel comfortable working on a lot of situational moves because First of all, I think it's instinctive, but I knew that if my shot wasn't reliable, defenders wouldn't even be close enough to me to guard me in those situations. So that's why I really wanted to come in this summer and uh, say, you know, look, all that other stuff we'll build on throughout the summer. So uh, <clears throat> I was, I'm currently residing in Phoenix uh, right now in the off seasons, and Stefan came out there for three or four days just to kind of get my shot right, you know, we was doing a lot of form shooting, just getting back to the basics. And um, I really felt like that really helped giving me confidence um, throughout my summer, just getting a lot of spot shooting and getting a lot of reps. So by the time I got to uh, link back up with him here, uh, I knew that, you know what, I could, I could now build. And so we got a lot of situational things this week towards the end of summer, which would give me that, that um, just that edge going overseas again. This is the easy part. Yeah. This is when we catch the breeze. Everybody can score 12 in the first. Can you score 12 in the fourth? Five. Five plays. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Come on. Eight in the row. Yeah. yeah. Nine. Okay.
Okay, I definitely uh, got better at finishing. Like he, he challenges you with the same hand, same foot finishes, finishing ball handling, shooting off ball screens. I, I'll say everything really. Like my whole game is working out with him. It will definitely make a 360 in your game. I mean, I recommend him because he probably know no more about your game than you do, and you haven't even met him yet. You know, like he watches game film and he brings in clips. You know what I'm saying? I asked him who, uh, who he felt was the most efficient point guard going to the basket. You know what I'm saying? He gave me a, a list of five players with 50 clips of each player. You know what I'm saying? And he bring them in so not only can you see what you're doing in the drill work, how you can relate it to the game, but how effective it is. You know, he's not just giving you work just to have you out here working hard. You know what I'm saying? You're not just on the court for two hours just to say you're putting in work. Like, everything is efficient. Everything is to get better. And, um, you know, I, I shoot it. They don't take my will. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and it's not about uh, just clout for him. It's not about just the credit for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really want to see people get better. He really want to see people excel. And any way that he can help do that, he will. And that's what I honor about him, man. And, you know, from here on out, man, I'm going to make sure that at least for two weeks or summer I get some work in with him, man, because these five days been amazing uh, on and off the court, man, because you could just learn so much from him. And at the same time, he's real receptive and open-minded to what you got to say, too. You know what I'm saying? So anything you feel like you do well or you don't do well or you might not use as efficiently, he gonna cater to that too, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's not his workout, it's your workout, you know what I'm saying? He wants you to get better, so, um, you know, and that's really how he go about it, you know what I'm saying? He gonna put what he has at, on the table, and, um, you know, nine times out of 10, you gonna like the moves, cause shoot, if you can't get no buckets after his moves, it's a problem, you know what I'm saying? His moves gonna get you buckets, man, and it's gonna open space up for you, man. And from there, it's all about making shots. You got the moves for me though. <laughs> you got it for me. I would recommend stuff because uh, first off it's youth and that youth is not always a bad thing. It's one thing where first of all he has time on his hands, you know, at this point in his, in his life and it's not a bad thing but he doesn't have a family, doesn't have other obligations. So he's a, he could be up late night watching someone's film, a pro player's film, uh, NBA player's film, you know, uh, when they have a lot of demands and schedules. You know, he can hit him with a text, hey, when you're free to you know, Skype or FaceTime, and then also, of course, fly out or, or meet each other in certain cities. So his availability is one thing, and his attention to detail is another. Uh, I think it's been a few uh, subtle movements and things that he's corrected, him, corrected me on to be more efficient in my footwork. And you know, playing at the highest level, it's a split-second decision, and you're playing against top athletes, so you got to try to make your moves very effective. And I think that's one thing that helps him be well-rounded. He's done post work with me and uh, primitive work. So we see this day and age, a lot of guys are getting paid a lot because of being multi-skilled, you know, and uh, so I think that players who want to take the game to another level, add something to their game, I think he has the, 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 uh, the expertise and the time to, to make it work. Aren't we all tired? We only worked in the days we're not tired if we wouldn't work much. Three, two, one. Let's go. Work, 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 work. Like I tell everybody, like I tell my players, you control your career. You know, people think, some kids think it's their players. I mean, their coaches or their, um, their you know, physical attributes, how, how, how tall they are, how much they weigh. But now you control your career. So for me, to dig deep basketball, I think, I mean, the sky's the limit. As hard as I'm willing to work and I surround myself with good people with the same aspirations as me, I mean, I think there's no reason that, you know, you can't be who is the best. Um, but, I mean, I see myself working with the best players there are. Or, 
if it's a fifth grade kid that wants to get a lot better, I mean, I work with everybody. In my hometown, people know. I work with high school kids, middle school, elementary. I mean, I work with all sorts of kids. People think it's just the pros. But in reality, it started with all the little kids back home in Deloge, Missouri. Yeah, I mean, that's what most people say when they work. It's very detail-oriented, and I think that is, um, I think that comes from watching a lot of film. The guys at Northwestern State, um, the grad assistants and the guys on staff know that I watch so much film. And uh, in reality, uh, last summer when I was working out in Julian, uh, I called Drew Hamlin. Drew's a great guy, same industry, does really great stuff for the world of basketball. You know, I kind of asked him, you know, just kind of picking his brain, he just simply asked, you know, how much film you watch? Not enough was my answer. Game of honest, not enough. So then at that point, from last July, that's been a priority to me. Now, summer hours are a little bit different. Summer, you don't have as much time to watch most film, but you know, in the winter months and the spring months is when I really break down a lot of stuff, because I'm not good at everything. So I'll pick two or three things, two things really, in the off season, what do I not really that good at player development at? I pick those two things and watch just tons and tons and tons of film. So I would say a lot of my oriented isn't from, you don't get detail oriented unless you're experienced in what you're doing. So you can't just watch seven games in the NBA Finals or you can't just watch pickup games or some AAU events. Like you legitimately got to study basketball all the time. You know, there's three types of people. There's student, player, <clears throat> and coach, you know. So I just think that um, you really, it comes from studying. It's just like, it's like taking a test. Basketball is a huge test. And you're never going to have all the answers, but you can always keep searching.